What's up traders? So today on Daily Investments, we got a uh, nice five minute scalping strategy. It's easy uh, to understand. So when you're new to trading, this strategy will be perfect for you. So for this strategy, we're going to use three things, uh, two EMAs to be exactly in the stochastics oscillator. You don't need to really worry if you don't know anything about these indicators. I'm going to help you and guide you through the process. So at the end of the video, you can trade this indicator and strategy on your own. So now let's dive into the crypto strategy. So first off, let's add some indicators. For the first indicator is going to be the stochastics indicator. So we're going to add the stochastics indicator. We're going to use this indicator on the regular settings. So the regular settings for the stochastics indicator, just to check it out for you guys to make sure you have the right settings are 14, one and three. Stochastic oscillator shows the overbought and oversold levels indicated here and indicated here. So the overbought signals and here you can see the oversold signals. So now we're gonna add two moving averages to this in the stochastics indicator. So go to the EMA. It's important guys that you take the moving average exponential. So press it twice. Yes. So for the checkout on the left side, you're going to have two EMAs. What we're going to do now is we're going to uh, change the EMA settings to uh, what we need. So this is going to be a 200 EMA and a 50 EMA. So let's go to settings inputs. So you change the length to 200. And what I always do because of the lines are, you can see it here, they're not really that thick and visible. So I always change the style and the visibility of the line. So for the 200 EMA, um, yeah, you can choose your color, of course, what you prefer. But I always use the thick red color. So now we're gonna improve the visibility of the EMA 200. So of course you go again to the color and you improve the thickness of the line. So you take this one. And uh, for the EMA 200, now you've got a real thick red line. So uh, yeah, it's clearly visible. And so the other EMA that we're going to change is the EMA 5 currently seen here. We're going to change it to the EMA 50. Also change the style and the color of this EMA. So it's going to be the maximum blue one that I'm going to use. And the thickness of the line is going to be the third one. So something else that's noticeable uh, when you uh, press in the EMA, there's uh, an updated version. So look for the method. So it's on EMA and not on SMA. If it's on SMA, change the EMA, press OK. So for the checkup, you're going to see 200 close, 0 EMA 5. And below that is the EMA 50 close. And so for now, you've got a clean setup for yeah to, to trade this strategy. The EMA 200 is the thick red line. And the EMA 50 is going to be the slightly less thicker blue line, the EMA 50. And why are these EMAs important? So if you watched previous videos, um, I already explained it there. But the 200 exponential moving average indicates the long term trend. And for the EMA 50 is going to indicate the short term trends. So we always trade the trend guys because the trend is your friend. So above the EMA 200, we're going to be in a bullish scenario. So we only take long positions. So when we're below the EMA 200, we're going to be in a bearish scenario. And this is going to be only short positions. So the trend is your friend. So what's important guys is that you want to be on the same side of both the short term. So the blue line and the long term trend before opening a position. All right, guys. Now, first off, let's take a look at the long position. For the long position, there are some key factors that are important before you can take a long position. First off, the price must always be above the EMA 200 line. So, for example, here, uh, when it's below to EMA 200 line, this means that we're in a bearish scenario. So you can take a long position. So first off, always check if the price is above the EMA 200. Second, you can check out if the 50 EMA is also above the EMA 200. This is mandatory because otherwise you can take a long position. So what you do is you enter a long position when the stochastic returns back below the 20%. So for example, when we're looking here, you can take a long position 
after both lines turn above the 20 stochastic line. So guys, what we're seeing here is that the uh, stochastics is below the 20 level. So now just wait on a confirmation candle when it's above, when it goes back above again. So this is your confirmation candle and this is where you take a long position. Ooh. So let's take a long position. The risk reward that I'm gonna use in this uh, strategy is gonna be two. And I'm gonna use my stop loss and set it below the wick low. So this is going to be here and the risk reward is going to be two. There we go. Now let's just uh, take a look at how this uh, long position plays out. The target for the take profit got hit so this is an easy win and this is how you take a long position with this strategy. Now let's take a look at the short position. So guys, now I'm gonna explain the short position. There are some key components before you can take a short position. One is price must be low the EMA 200. This means you are in a bearish market structure indicated here. So that means you can take a short position. The second thing that is important is that the EMA 50 must be below the 200 EMA indicated for example here. So two key components that you need to have before you can take a short position. Third is you can only enter a short position when the stochastics return back from above 80. So for example here. So when it goes below the 80 level again. This is where you ten, can take a short position. So what's also important is for the stop loss. The stop loss um is just above the swing high in a short position and in a long position it needs to be on the swing low now i'm going to give an example for a short position so guys what we're seeing here is that you see the price is below the ema 200 besides that you see the blue line crossed the red line so these are two key components for before you can take a short position so now let's wait until the stock indicator is above the 80 level. So what we're seeing here that the stock indicator closed above the 80% level. And now you can wait, yes, for example, now you can wait for the confirmation candle that it just hit below the 80 level again this means that you can take a short position so for example here this is the swing this is the short position you're going to take the swing high so this is going to be here just above the swing high and our risk reward ratio for this strategy is going to be two now let's take a look how this uh yeah, how this trade played out So guys, like we're seeing right here is that this short position also got hit. Um, this is an ascension. This is how you take a proper short position with this strategy. Um, in the rest of the video, I'm going to backtest uh, this strategy and I'm going to show the results in a minute.
Hey guys, so the results are in. Uh, I've back tested this a uh, hundred times and uh, the results are in. Uh, we have a win rate of 55%. The money gained is also a nice amount, it's 4,744 euros. What we always recommend is to use Bybit as the official exchange when you play with leverage. The fees are way lower for, than, for example, Binance. So uh, the gains that you made on Bybit will be higher because the, the fees are lower. We would really appreciate, guys, is that if you uh, like the video, maybe subscribe to the YouTube channel and use our affiliate link uh, through Bybit. Thanks and uh, see you again in the next video.